Yo, guess what? I bought myself a new camera. <laughs> yeah! Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so yeah, I bought myself a new camera. I uh, finally got my hands on the Canon 6D Mark II. Uh, I'm just trying with the whole vlogging system at the moment. Um, I need to get a new lens. I'm thinking of getting the 35mm and probably get like another 20mm just like the single lens but for the full frame kind of um, camera base because this the one that I'm using now, the Sigma wide angle lens, it's not full frame and I don't know whether you can see or not but around the edges there's like a little bit of a vignette going on so I think that's like um, infra infrastructure the um, half frame not the full frame if, if that all makes sense it's all just like camera talk but yo I got myself a new camera heck yeah I'm just like super excited gonna be uh, trying my best to vlog with it uh, today and we just see what's what's up man heck yeah Woo! I'm actually super excited I uh, can use it for uni and everything and I'm gonna um, try and start my best to go out and shoot with this camera as well So we shall see what's up with it all man. Oh my god. I'm so excited, but at the moment I'm just drinking some coffee. I got my usual black coffee with me today. So cheese Boom. Oh, yeah, also I can't help myself But if I keep looking at the um, screen over here like over there I do apologize because you know, I try to be like eye contact and everything, but then I'm just like looking at myself in the screen and shit like that too. <laughs> but anyway, yo, internet is still down, so uh, looks like I'm gonna be wasting my data on my phone. I've been wasting data on my phone actually. I got a message from, from them last night saying that if you use 50% of your data, you have 12 more days till it all resets. And I'm just like, thanks, Telstra. I appreciate you telling me and all that kind of shit. Yeah, man, super annoying with this whole internet thing, like I said, man. Got today's fit, though. Oh, yeah, looking all swagged up and shit. Boom! I was actually about to have something to eat, but, um, C contacted me, Connor. He, um, I call him C. Every time, I always have to, like, reintroduce him to the vlog. Anyway, um, we are meeting up for, like, brunch, I think. I have no idea. But uh, he is in town at the moment, so yeah, I'm just gonna meet up, see what's up, and uh, just like catch up. And also, I wanna try out the camera and shit as well, so yeah, man, hopefully this little like vignette thing that's happening at the moment is okay. It looks kinda cool, but uh, yo, let's meet up with C. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Phone is Loki charging his phone in JB High Five. No, I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing just, just my iPad options. Alright? Oh my god, yo. Yeah. It's so smart. Yeah. Yeah. Not real. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, how's See? that iPad though? Yeah, lovely. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Uh -huh. See, so you wanna have this dance with me? Come on, man. I'm drawing. <laughs> you did not draw that. Hey, what do you call that? Abstract. <laughs> Me and C both created some art. This is mom. Look at that shit. C, where's yours? No. Oh, did I save it? No. Oh. Man, I don't know. She's gone. Well, now it should be here. No, it's gone, man. It's gone, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> oh, we have the new library space. It looks like a Google space. Got like power sockets in here and shit as well. Do you? Walk to my car. Hopefully, it doesn't like pour. Um, please wait till my till I go to my car, and um, you can start pouring. Please, Mother Nature. So this is the new building for um, the new accommodation, like the new one that they've been building for like two years, I think. It actually looks hella fancy. Like I saw a little bit on the inside and shit, and it looks like so nice. 
Oh shit, but it's like expensive as fuck though. Like honestly, us uni students, we didn't make a hell lot of money, you know what I mean? And for this like accommodation stuff, it costs like $300 per week, which you know includes um, internet and food and everything. And it's just like, it's super annoying because we can't afford that. And unless like our parents are rich and everything, then I guess probably we can afford it, but <laughs> most of us are not. And you know, I just wish that like, if you live locally or something like that, you can just like be there. You know what I mean? You can like, like live there because you live locally, if that makes sense. It's just annoying, man. And it is full pouring right now. <laughs> How am I gonna get home? Even though like home is like honestly just right there. Uh, yo, it is actually quite heavy. Like the rain, oh my gosh. I got that subway for lunch though. Uh, internet is still down. Luckily though, I downloaded Friends ages ago because my internet was down like before and uh, yeah, desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> but play, season one and it's like one of my favorite seasons too. So uh, a little bit of a story that I want to tell you guys. One second, let me just move this. Alright, so yeah, a little story that I want to tell. Um, this happened yesterday actually. I went into Miranda Shopping Center to develop a couple of films and I wanted to go suss out, you know, the whole camera mission and everything. And so I went into DG Direct to, you know, suss out the camera and I found it and, you know, it was a good price, good everything and I, and I thought they would just like hook me up there and then and very easy. They probably do, but the thing is that I didn't go through with DG Direct because the people who are working over there they were discriminating me and my father racially. I didn't fully understand what had happened, but my dad told me that when we walked in, these two white male employees were looking at us, check, um, like checking us out, and not not in you know the the, the good way, like checking us out like very um, arrogantly, and they were like talking shit behind myself and my father's back. And so my father wanted to suss it out and suss it out. So he was walking around the shop and apparently they were talking just like awfully, awfully bad things. I do not want to say in this video because it's just, just basic racial discrimination by two white male employees. And so I, one of them went on to, you know, serve me and shit like that. And they were just like, I was just like, you know, asking about how uh, this works with like, you know, the afterpay or flexi pay or not all this kind of stuff and Yeah, I was just like trying to suss it out and they were just giving me bad vibes and the whole shot was like bad vibes as well And the way the guy was explaining with the whole thing that I was asking him It felt like he wasn't interested and he was just very arrogant to me and so basically they were just acting all snobby and just like talking shit behind our backs, literally like behind our backs. I could hear a little bit of it, but I was more con concentrated on like the, the camera. And good thing my dad told me because he, he heard it. And they were just, they thought that we didn't have enough money to get the camera that we wanted. So yeah, they were just like being all arrogant and just like heap shrewd and stuff. And so my advice to the people out there who's watching this video if you want to take my advice go ahead if you guys don't want to take my advice it's up to you all because you are your own individual basically don't go to dg direct in miranda square because the employees over there are just very snobbish and very arrogant and they think that they know everything just because they work at a camera store which is a stupid thing to think about never ever 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 think that you're better than anyone else because because you're not you know everyone's all on the same path and everything and we're all just equally as good so don't ever think that you're on a higher radar than everyone else and it's just a stupid mentality to be believing in so I just got out of there and I just went somewhere else to grab the camera because I didn't want to be served by arrogant people and I ain't got that much time on my hands so yeah that's the story
Alrighty, yo, just here to sign off the vlog. Thank you so much for uh, just showing some love and watching this video. And uh, I really do appreciate it. In the meantime, be kind to one another. And remember to stay educated, you know, educate yourselves, man. That's really important. I'll catch you all soon. Okay, bye.